Hi everyone. Sorry I am late. Um, I was just casually eating my dinner and then didn't realise what the time was. So sorry about that. Um, just getting my screen up. So how's everyone doing? Some people are here. Great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Hi Sue. Um, and some more people here. Just trying to find the video on my computer so I can see when uh, people comment. Yeah. And I've got all these pop ups on my screen so you can't uh, see what I'm doing. Hi, Trace. Hi, Sue. Nice to see you, ladies. Hope you're doing all right. It's a uh, it's quite warm, isn't it? It's quite warm. So I was just saying, sitting, eating tea. Oh, hi, Glennis. Uh, yes, yeah, so did I just remember last minute. <laughs> um, I'm sitting here and Alison, lovely Alison, sent me a message and said, are you starting soon? And I was like, oh, yes, just finishing my dinner. Sorry about that. Um, so, no, no, Heather, I was uh, eating my tea. Hi, Alison. Um, just yeah just relaxing on the couch eating my dinner and didn't even like realize what the time was yeah so uh, thank you Alison for sending the message because um I had kind of I remember this morning I put the card up and then thought no I'll be good I'll be good to go and uh yeah uh, the time just dis disappears on you out of kind of what I thought I was going to be doing I was supposed to have a, um, hey Heidi, um, I was supposed to be having a little stall at the Karakalix uh, Christmas party in Mini Market, um, but you know, hi Andrea, um, thunderstorms and stuff were forecast and it's rained pretty much all day, so I made some bits and pieces to sell because I don't really have markets, so I don't have a lot of stock, but um, yeah. Made some bits and pieces, now I've got some bits and pieces that I have to try and use up. So, um, if anyone <laughs> if anyone is interested in purchasing some Christmas tags, although I will use some, but I have made a lot, uh, Christmas gift tags, or obviously some Christmas cards. Um, I also have some decorated notebooks, some post-it note holders, <laughs> um, some little elf legs. For children with m and in them, I'll show you those, they're super cute. They've fallen off my thing again. Oh my gosh, this humidity does not like, um, my adhesives don't like my humidity. I've got some calendars, so I made these little cuties, which I did when I uh, first started and I did them, oh he's lost his foot. So it's like a little elf's pants with red and green m ms in them, so I made some few of those, I just discovered that some of them have fallen off. And then I made some little gift tags. So, oh, hard rain. Uh, we, ours wasn't too hard. It was, uh, it was just, some of it was annoying. Oh no, that's terrible if it goes into your craft room. So that's another one. And then, so this is using the gingerbread and peppermint paper. I just cut them out, but these are, that is the um, <clears throat> cookie cutter punch, which is not around anymore, but really help, really cool. So it makes a reindeer and, um, and a gingerbread man. And then the candy cane ones are quite cute too. So if anyone's interested, just yell out. Because I've got a few, well, a few in there, look, a few in there, and a few in there. So, uh, but that was fun making them. So, kind of just to have really um, plonked myself on the couch for the day and, and yeah, not really in my head of the routine that I thought I was going to have today. Um, so, yeah, getting dinner started late and all the rest of it. So, now I'm super, super late. So, this is our card. It is called a... Fold out, fold out, pop out card. 
Uh, yeah, so, hi Millie. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that order arrives before you go on Friday. But I have got your other stuff here if you wanted to come and pick it up and pack it. Um, or I can try and drop it off tomorrow night after Piper's dancing. Um, so yeah, so it's like a... Um, it's, the fold is a standard one that we've used before, so it's just you fold over and then fold back. But then it's got this little piece in the back here, which is a little pop-out, that then you can decorate. I haven't finished decorating it. Excuse me. So, But then you can put some bits in there that pop out as well. Um, so, that's what we're doing. I watched the video from uh, Lisa Curcio, also Dawn Griffith. Um, but also, there's a few other people on Pinterest if you search pull out pop up pull out pop out card I think it's called all right yeah um yes there's, well there's quite a bit Millie so um yell out if you're out and about and if um if I remember when I take Piper to dancing tomorrow afternoon um I'll pop it in the car and then drop it off on the way back okay all right so I'll pop you down and we'll get started. Um, I will go through the measurements for you with the cards because there's quite a few pieces. Um, so as I'm doing it, I'll go through the measurements with you. Um, I'm using the, hmm, what is that set? It's not painted Christmas. I'm using one of the Christmas DSPs and this one's actually in the main catalogue. Now it's going to annoy me. I don't know what it's called. Tidings of Christmas. So it's got lots of different um, patterns and designs in it. Some you could use for other things. You know, like the stripes. The um, That one there is, you could use with a flowery stamp set. You've got the stripes. You've got branches that's got pine cones on it and a little bit of holly but you could kind of use it for something else small stripes um, and then this one here is quite pretty as well so oh that's a bit blurry is that my computer are you guys blurry it's not on my phone but the t the computer maybe i'll just refresh my computer so i'm just thinking that is not good I hope it's just, oh gosh. Please let me know, ladies, if um, if that is a hideous picture that you've got there. Uh, is it clear, Millie? It looks really bad, but I don't know why. Because on my phone camera... Let me just uh, on my take the paper. Oh, yeah, it might be too. Oh, it seems to have come right now. Is it better now? Yeah, better now. Cool. I don't know what happened. It must have been my internet. Uh, it didn't like like as uh, as Andrea said, it didn't like the paper. Uh, it's too. Oh, actually, I wonder if it was a plastic on. Um, still blurry for you? Yeah, good. Millie, is it? Yeah, excellent. I think it might have been, um, been the plastic on the pack of paper. All right, so we're going to have just a standard piece. Let me just turn my light on again, a bit dark, a bit brighter. A um, standard piece of um, A4 cut in half so that you've got a landscape and going to fold that um, into a standard card base fold <clears throat> um, my bone holder. so we're just going to fold just knit to the corner of that fold that and crease it nicely and then we're going to fold this back on ourselves again line that up with the edge so you end up with that kind of z shape happening at the front 
All right. Now, with this card, you need to put your designer series paper on before you cut the slit because otherwise, um, and so you've got to cut through the two layers, but it's fine with the, the designer series paper. So I've got this paper here, which um, actually I might actually use that side. What's on the back of that? No. I'll stick with that, I think. Hopefully I have enough uh, glue. Um, it wasn't, it's getting it's getting low after all the uh, there we go. after all the tags and stuff that I've been making. So and it wasn't in the holder properly. All right, I know it's beautiful um, paper, isn't it? So I think. Um, yeah, I'm glad I bought a full pack. I was just using a little sample of it. So um, now this piece here I've cut. This one is five and three quarters by three and seven eighths. Uh, it's not an even mat around the edge. So you might want to go five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. No, five and three quarters by three and three quarters and that should give you a bit more of an even mat around the edge um it's slightly wider on the sides if you don't if that doesn't worry you then don't worry about it um move it over that way a little bit more to the edge okay so that's our main piece of dsp then we've got two long strips which are five and three quarters so the same length so if you're going to trim this one off then trim this one off five and three quarters by two and seven eighths so you just make sure that it's centered with this one here because I'm using cherry cobbler as my card base it's not as obvious if it's with the, the edging um, as it is so much with that one all right so I'm just going to pop these onto the two pieces I was just making sure I was doing it right in my head. All of a sudden it kind of went, no, that's wrong. Don't put it there. Um, all right. So how's everyone doing? Had a nice weekend apart from the rain. Crazy to think that it's the 12th of December. Where did that time go? It's man, mental. Um, and I haven't even... Um, that's okay, Lisa. So was I. It was a little bit late because I was eating dinner. Um, that is the front. So we're going to do that bit first. So that was your card base folded in half, then fold back, and then you've got a piece of design series paper, which is five and three quarters by three and seven eighths. Um, and then you've got two pieces of design series paper that are five and three quarters by two and seven eighths which are your inside panels now before we go um before we go on we're going to do our little pop out slit two and seven eighths seems too wide let me just double check it for you heather now that i've got i don't want to put my head in the you're right, it is too wide. What one am I looking at? Where did that come? Maybe it's supposed to be one and seven eighths. Sorry, Heather. It will give you um, a wider border. But mine is actually looking... Actually, it is. It's one and seven eighths. Because if I put it there... Yes. Sorry, ladies. The panels here are five and three quarters by one and seven eighths. Thank you, Heather. I'm sorry that you wasted your paper. Um, so I will correct that on my piece of paper and I will take another photo and highlight that so that you can see that that's been a change.
Okay. Is that fitting a bit better, Heather? Sorry, now you're going to have that like one inch strip that is annoying. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop our card in and we want the folded side, the center fold. So you've got your front fold and then you've got your center fold. I'm going to put this center fold at the, um, on the, against the side of your trimmer. And you're going to come down, come in one and a half, come down your trimmer to the one and a half mark. All right, so you want that folded edge against the side, and we're going to come down to one and a half um, inches. Then, with your trimmer blade, excuse me, with your blade, you're going to put your blade at three quarters of an inch. All right, so you can, sorry, my head was in that. Um, you can see the notch here, so line that up with the three quarter mark there. Once you've got it in place, pop it down and you're just going to go across and cut. Now, because you're going through two layers of cardstock and two layers of paper, you might want to bring it back and do it again. And you'll feel it, um, kind of a resistance now that you've cut that first one. So you shouldn't go too far. Once you've got that resistance, just pull it out and check. You might need to put it in. again flip it over if it hasn't gone all the way through or get your snips okay so you end up with a piece like that then what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over and you're going to bring the bottom half back in so this now your cut is at the top half of your, the top part of your trimmer you're going to come down one and a half again and you're going to bring your blade into three quarters again so it's lined up with a three quarter mark there and we're going to do the same thing. And then you should be able to just bring it back a couple of times. I'm sure that's what I did last time. Yeah, it's gone right through. So you just have to go back over it a couple of times. So now you should have two slits that come in three quarters of the way. All right. So now you're going to line up your... Um, your folded side okay so this is our center piece we're going to put this at three quarters of an inch so if I if you've got the Stampin' Up trimmer you can actually put it through um, going with the folded side at the top move our blade out of the way and then we're just going to line up that is now there's a couple of, sorry, I need to put my head in here. I'm just going to line up your mm -hmm. blade. That's looking a bit like, sorry, I need to pick it up and have a look. That is four and three eighths and one and a half. So you're going to just do your score mark between those two cut marks, all right? So you could line it up here or like that. Hi Sandra, um, so you're just going to go to one and a half and then back a couple of times or you can put it in here, use your bone folder, you excuse my head again and you will you can see where the slit happens so you can use your bone folder if, they, if you're feeling a little bit more confident with that and then just give it a little bit, it hasn't come through really strongly on this side but it's enough to see. So if you want to put it back in again at three quarters, slide it down, pull your bone folder in, and slide through like that. The bone folder just might make it a little bit easier to see where. So you've got, I don't know how well you can see that. Let me just wait for the camera to catch up. So you've got a fold there and a fold there and a cut down the sides like that. Okay, so we're done with our trimmer for now. So what you're going to do now is you're going to open your card and you're going to gently push this back through. So you want your, your middle fold to fold like it has been in, the, um, in your standard card shape. And you're just going to tease that in. Now it might take a little minute 
but remember you want to keep these ones folded. I find it easier just to stick my fingers in there to be honest and pinch, pinch on the fold a bit more because it's kind of got used to going the other way. And so what you want to happen is you get this little box thing here happening. All right. And you're just going to tease that in. Now this is why we put our paper on first. I'm just going to push that down. So we've got that is what your center fold looks like. I'm just going to press that down a bit more. And then we're going to crease over that fold there and just come over a little bit so that you've got that centre mark there as well. All right, so you end up with that. How well can you see that? I bent my card front a little bit. But that's okay. All right. So just go over that a little bit um, to break the fibres and um, strengthen your crease so you end up with that okay and then, you know you can just pop it in there and go inside and get that that crease as well so you end up it looks like that and then when you open it you've got your pop-up bit there all right the fact that you're kind of going through card and you're trying to fold, like you've got four layers that you're going to get there. It's not going to sit um, flat like easily because you've got that piece in the middle. All right. So that's our base. Now we have some, so that's this bit. All right. Now we've got some decorating panels. Now these ones are purely optional. Um, because it's up to you how you decorate your card, to be totally honest. This is, I've done it how the demonstrator that I watched did it. So I've used her template um, and then adjusted the measurements to fit our A4 cardstock. The first thing you're going to start is you need to have a piece of card that is, now this is your biggest square, three and three quarters by three and three quarters. All right. So if you go either way, around that, don't want to write on my card, three and three quarters. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go from one point, one corner to the other corner on a diagonal. All right, like that. And then we're just going to cut it in half. Now this has given you an, uh, two cards. You only need one. You also will have a piece of DSP that is giving you the wrong measurements again. Should be three and a half by three and a half. Sorry, Heather. So a piece of designer series paper on my measurements, it said three and three quarters, but it's actually three and a half. Oh, what is going on, man? So I'll adjust that too and then put, um, I'll highlight those so that you can take a screenshot or keep download the photo of um, the measurements. So this is what I've just done on here. I've just adjusted those. So you'll do the same thing with your three and a half by three and a half square. I had this left over from last time. So instead of cutting in a whole nother piece, I've just um, kept it. So you're just going to layer that onto it like that. All right, so we're just going to um, finish with that, I think. Um, and right. Um, while I'm doing this, I was having a think today about the fact that, oh my gosh, it's nearly Christmas. And um, I'm thinking that everyone's getting super busy and got lots of family things happening. So I think um, I'll do, well, what would you like to do? Would you like to do one more week or... Have you, are you too busy and you don't, and you're quite happy to just pick it up next year? I'm thinking maybe the second week of January I might start doing them again because I'll have my pre-order from the catalogue. That's so exciting. Um, okay, 
So you're going to glue your piece of designer series paper onto your cardstock. So your cardstock is three and three quarters by three and three quarters, cut on a diagonal. DSP is three and a half by three and a half, cut on a diagonal, and then just lay it onto the top. So now what you're going to do is, sounds good, Lisa? One more week? Okay, Alison. Um, we're just going to put some glue on the top piece. So where your flap folds over on just on that um, pop up bit um, and we're just going to pop that on and you're just going to hold it there so that until this, the glue sort of takes although in this humidity it's not taking very long at all um, you can fold it flat if you want to no actually I wouldn't recommend folding it flat fold it and close it is probably the best way to do it fold and close and then just hold it there for a minute to um, let the glue stick. Alright, so what's today? Sunday. So we'll do next Wednesday, oh, this coming Wednesday and this coming Sunday and then we'll have a little bit of a break for Christmas um, and we're not going away. We don't usually go away. Uh, so I think, I don't know what the dates are, I'll have a look at the calendar in a minute, but maybe, um, maybe, let me have a look, where are we, January, maybe like the, oh the 11th I was going to say, but that's my brother's birthday, so we'll probably be out for dinner, um, let's say the uh, 16th, of January will we start again or the 9th you let me know the 9th or the 16th and that's a Sunday oh my gosh it's done the same thing again oh man oh it's frozen now there we go let me move that out of the way and see if my phone re 16th Lisa cool I'm good with the 16th everyone else happy with that what is going on let me see if I can refocus. Sorry ladies, I don't know what is going on. I don't know whether it's my computer or whether you guys are noticing that it's um, that it's blurry as well. I'm noticing that with the glue. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side and see what happens. We'll see. Alright, so still a bit grainy you're happy with that too oh yes millie that'll be cool we'll be able to catch up with you and see how it went blurry again yeah i know and i can't seem to it's not fixing itself there it goes hmm i think i'm due a new phone um millie that would be exciting you'll be able to um share us share your your um how everything's going down here and what the weather's like and be lovely to be able to see uh hear from you you could always post some pictures too of your lovely new house all right so we've got two pieces of cardstock these are your smallest pieces one and three quarters by one and three quarters and then you have got let's hope i put these right one and a half by one and a half all right and i must have been having a bad day when i got this organized i was rushing that's why that's why my my measurements are wrong um, and then I've got a piece of cardstock which is two and three quarters by two and three quarters and then if I can't go with COVID lockdowns I know I want the one that I want isn't available yet so I'm gonna have to just suck it up and wait um, for a new phone I want um, it hasn't come out in New Zealand so this one is two and three quarters by two and three quarters and DSP is two and a half by two and a half now again any of these measurements you can adjust you can leave them on um definitely signing in for cards and i can sh yeah that'd be awesome millie um you can definitely adjust this to however you like um so this is the card the measure the or way that she did it um i've also seen where this piece wasn't um put on because the dsp that they used was really lovely so they wanted to showcase the the dsp and just put a nice little sentiment on it basically this piece here 
is kind of hiding this so this is a little bit of a surprise but it doesn't have to be it could be but that's actually just part of your card and that's where your little sentiment so you could put your and let's glue these together and I'll show you what I mean so turn your glue upside down Kelly what do you want to have for tea we have macaroni cheese sunny Gisborne hopefully it stays sunny At least um, Millie Rhythm and Vines has been uh, postponed to Easter, so you'll get a little bit of a of a chance of not getting bombarded by lots of tourists when you first move down there. Give you time. Potato salad and fruit salad. Yum. I love potato salad. I just couldn't be bothered. It's raining there now. It's kind of, I think it's raining everywhere now, isn't it? It's one of those... Uh, one of those seasons it kind of they reckon it's going to be a really hot summer but um i don't know it's quite hot now and muggy we turned the aircon on tonight because it was just like the rain was coming in the ranch sliders and stuff and there was no air moving so i was having a little bit of a hot flush and getting a bit agitated so matt says oh, i'll turn the aircon on well, thank you. All right, so I'm going to pop those on there like that because I've got this already cut and I'm going to use it. Um, what you could also do is just have your two pieces like this. Center them, obviously. Center that with your triangle. Um, your You could put them as squares. You could have circles. A cyclone with serious winds coming. Oh, yay, that's a fun thing to be at school at with kids. Is a cyclone and where we have to have all the windows open. They did look good actually, Lisa. Um, all right, so I, I mean, I don't like that, but you could. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work in my head with what I had planned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these two down. So um, they were big pieces of beet. They were big beetroot plants too. No, the, I am a little bit grateful that I'm on some release to do some other stuff Monday and Tuesday. So hopefully I could kind of be a little bit sneaky and not have... Oh, where am I going to put this? No, I'm going to put this right at the top. So I'm lining my points up with the edge of the fold of my card. So, which is why when I put the glue on, I put it on the inside of half. So it didn't go up to the half. Yeah, that's good. They were just like crazy big. Crazy big. Um, yes, I do recall seeing an email saying there's heaps of stuff there to take. Matt's harvesting from our garden at the moment too, but there's not, he can't eat as much as what he used to at the moment. So there's no point taking anything. I mean, it feels like it's upside down. It's not really directional. Finish on, we finish on Friday. Oh, that's nice, Millie, though, that you've got a few days before you move. Tuesday at midday. Our kids finish on Thursday. And then we have... Um, ugh. and then we have a, a moving day come picnic day. Now, this square, this it is a square, on an angle, actually fits kind of almost, actually it fits just inside the paper margins there. So, up to you, you could glue this. I'm going to dimensional because... Um, of the height difference between these two. So I'm going to chuck some dimensionals onto here. And if I look at kind of about there and there and there and then I might actually, yeah, well, and then I'll pop one here. So then it doesn't get stuck. 
midday picnic on Tuesday. That'll be nice. Oh, I hope the weather finds out for you on Tuesday. We've had um, our year fives and sixes have been able to go on trips because they haven't got a graduation. And there's a whole heap of people going to like Devonport and Tortura Park and Ambry Farm this week. Um, so hopefully they can go ahead with it. All right. Um, there. So that is the card. All right. So as you can see, it's not quite centered, but that's okay. I, I can't pull it off now. I've pushed it down too far. And so now it's just a matter of decorating it. Um, I've got a piece of... Hmm, what do I do with that punch? I learnt something with this punch too. I'm going to show you if I can find it quick enough. Um, I'm going to stamp... It's the most wonderful time of the year in Cherry Cobbler. And stamp that on a piece of basic white. And it's crooked, but that's okay. I'm going to punch it out and it will be fixed. One of the great things with punches is that when you stamp and then punch it out, you can line it up so that it's straight. Um, so I put it on here. No. Where'd it go? Just a minute, ladies. This. No, I always forget the name of this one. I think it's called the Tailored Tag Punch. It came out a couple of years ago with one of the men's sets. Um, it makes really effective cards with um, layering the different uh, shapes. Now, I'm just going to layer that so it's going to cut off part of the W, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. I do that, it's going to cut off the R. All right. So I'm going to punch like that. But what I wanted to show you is, you know how sometimes you want to put a piece of, like a, a label on and flag the end so it looks like it's got, um, looks like it's got, and you have to m measure it and then cut in and cut in this punch. If you put it in, line it up, get it kind of centered. Oops, this is just a piece of scrap. But you, so you could actually do it then with any size. So get it, line it up so that it's even. Punch, and you get a little flag. Ha! Oh, isn't that great? Um, so yeah, just use the. If you wanted to do the inverted one, you could do it from the bottom too. Um, or if you wanted to do a small piece on both ends, then if you wanted to do the other end. You just feed your punch back through from the front, line that up so that it's kind of set. Sorry, pulled that out of shot. So you're just going to line this, slide it in, in between the two pieces, get it centre where you want it, and then punch. So you end up with like a little arrow. Or if you go this way, oh no, it's going to do the same. So, another use for that love um, that punch, but also um, a great punch just on its own. Yeah, I wanted something that wasn't kind of curved to go with my straight edges on there, but um, that'll do. Oh my gosh, it's twenty past eight. I've been rambling. Ramble, ramble, ramble. All right. So. What I had planned on doing, which I haven't done on either of these, and I'm not going to do that while you're here, um, is get, cut out one of the Christmas trees that I have from the, mm, the um, what's that, Whimsy, of, Whimsy and Wonder, I think it's called. No, that's the Designer's Series paper. Whimsical Trees, I think it's called, Whimsical Christmas. There's some really cool um, Christmas tree dice, so I was actually going to cut one of them out and pop it on there so that when they pull it out, the tree pops out. All right, you can do anything there. You could put, <laughs> it's okay, rambling is fine. Yeah, but I don't want to be taking up all your night. Um, yeah, so that's the two cards. Obviously, it does not have to be a Christmas card. Um, any of these designs can go, um, you can 
make them into anything else you also don't always have to use designer series paper so you could have this piece here as a piece of white um, that you can write on or stamp on and then your other panels you can stamp on as well you don't have to just use designer series paper but we all know that we have stacks of it around so it's another great card to use um, use our designer series paper up for all right so um, we have got now when the last time I checked this afternoon so please do tell me if if I've missed anybody um, oh look that's not a good look Kelly um, I've got Heather Andrea and Sandra <coughs> excuse me um, please do let me know if um, if I've missed you and I will add you in next time uh, and if I if you do a card next time I'll add you in twice um, so only three tonight so uh, pretty high chance and Heather I still owe you one and I still owe Andrea one so I mean not Andrea Anita from last Sunday um, which I will get on to sorry my phone oops, it is a sign that I need a new phone my phone has just decided that half my photos it's not going to post to Facebook so when I go to send things they're not there anymore um, so but anyway enough rambling here we go ladies good luck and Sandra <laughs> wins again you are on a, I hope you bought a lotto ticket Sandra because you are on a winning streak um, that's very cool I will um, I'll get in touch with you shortly unless you want to have a look through the pictures that you've got and let me know if there's anything else that you're there that that is there um, so congratulations Sandra but Heather and Anita I haven't forgotten about you I just need to take some new photos so that my phone will send them um, and I look forward to seeing if any, if you've got time um, to make the card then you can't win lotto <laughs> you just got to keep trying don't you you've got to keep trying I actually have to buy a ticket to win lotto so you've got more chance than I do uh, if you're buying a ticket yeah so I'd like to buy I'd like to win but just don't get around to buying tickets um, all right thanks ladies sorry it's taken um, a bit more of your evening up I hope that you give this cat a go it is quite easy once you've got the the hardest part really um, is this little pop-up bit which once you've got your head around one and a half from the top one and a half from the bottom three quarters in score and fold um, you can decorate the rest of it however you like you don't have to use triangles um, but remember when you cut this one you actually get enough for two cards so you don't need to, um, and then you can use other pieces. So have a lovely evening uh, and enjoy the rest of your week. I will um, organise a card for Wednesday night and Sunday night, and I will post up on Tuesday the card for Wednesday, sometime on Tuesday. Um, and, yeah, and I will see you Wednesday night, hopefully not late, like this week. Um, yeah, at least I wasn't shopping. I suppose it's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right. Take care, ladies. Have a good week. See you later.